Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today we have another kit review for you and this one's from Ravel 135 scale M34 tactical truck and off-road vehicle um, everyone knows it would be as a deuce and a half in a Willys Jeep they probably haven't done that because it's to do with licensing so they've had to change the name slightly um, the kit is from 2007 I believe uh, yep, two, uh, 2017 the kit come out however the Willis Jeep uh, is the moulding from monogram 1957 and the deuce and a half is from monogram 1957 so the only 2017 parts of this kit is the box, instructions and decals. But the actual sprues and plastic is from 1957. So it's going to be quite old. Um, so it's not going to be up to scratch like it is today with modern kits. But nonetheless, it's still pretty good for its age. Um, there's this side of the box. Not a lot on here. Two vehicles will make up. 19.5 and 10.1 um, 98 parts roughly you have this part on the back of the box of what the kits can potentially look like once they build up all your sprues you get rubber tires and stuff color callouts from Ravel and their products um, so you're gonna have to do your map map references and stuff but um, I cannot find a kit number uh, I presume the kit number is down the bottom, 03260. So it's been out for a little while now. I got this for about 20 quid. It's dead cheap. It's a bargain, in my opinion, for getting 235 scale vehicles. So let's take a look what we get in the box. It's a side opening box. We've got several bags of plastic. An instruction sheet. So let's take a look at this closer. Okay, here's the new tile style of instructions from Ravel. Um, so this is much better than they had before. Um, picture of the do for two vehicles, nicely done. All the um, icons and what not to do and stuff. Uh, other icons, dry time, clear, times two, question mark, and not blue, and whatever. Colours is required for this vehicle. I have jab mix, silver, aluminum, red, clear red, clear orange would be for the lights. Iron, wood for the wooden parts, light olive, white, and stuff. You've got your sprue maps. This is for the deuce and a half. So your first step on the deuce and a half would be working on the cab. This is the roof, front shield. Me, I'll probably uh, paint this up, assembly, paint it up and then put the other tape in the last because otherwise you're going to have to mask it off. It might be easier to do that separately. Um, a little bit of um, Microsoft crystal clear. Um, so glue it in with that and it might be alright. Then work on the drivetrain which would be the... Uh, Pumpkin housings, I call them, and the, and the uh, drivetrain, leaf springs, and more arms for the suspension. Chassis, hopefully, it's not twisted for the age, but then it's leaf springs going on, and then all that assembly going in drivetrain. Back onto the cab, um, the uh, inside cab, the back, back firewall, or back of the cab, I call it, gear stick and stuff. The dash, the side skirts and fenders is all moulded as one piece. They're asking to have the doors on. I believe you can have the doors pivot because they're asking for no glue on the hinges. So I, I, I just imagine the doors can be uh, workable. The uh, front bonnet going on. There's no engine detail because it's an older kit. The roof I would leave off last because you can paint separately and uh, get the internals. And you've got the back of the uh, trailer part going on as well down here. Don't forget your steering wheel, and also you've got your decals going on the dash. 
This is the back deck fenders, dropping that down on your chassis. The cab going on, sidewalls. If you're having sidewalls on, if you're having it just with it being open, um, the bench is going on. But if you're having the uh, canvas cover one, I think you ignore the steps. Lights going on and paint them red. Mirrors, spare wheel, putting all your wheels on. Yeah, so if you're having the canvas cover, that slips over straight over the top. Again, I wouldn't glue that because you can take it on and off as, as you wish. So don't glue it. So that would be your deuce and a half all finished. Next step would be working on the Willis Jeep. Chassis comes as moulded as all one piece. The uh, internal floor is moulded as one piece. The sides are done as one piece. You have the windshield with acetate. Your bonnet, dash, front grille, putting your bonnet on or hood, wherever you are in the world. Windshield going on the back of the vehicle. Steering wheel, levers, handbrake, gear stick, seats, tyres, jerry can. So you pretty much want to build all of this and paint it all in drab. Same as the two and a half, pretty much build it all and then paint it, just like how you do tanks. You have two options for the deuce and a half. You have the uh, 34 M34 two and a half ton truck deuce and a half from the U.S. Army Seventh Seventh Bat uh, Battalion Company 106 uh, in France 1957. Again M34. This one's for. Is that the Marines? I think that is in North Africa. You have the Willis Jeep um, from the same battalion as the Deuce and Half the 77 Battalion 957. So you can do them from both from the same same area. Or well, you can do this one here, which is from for the Marines as well. This is Libyan 1950. So. It's, Slight difference in the olive drab, I believe. I think this one's darker than this one, if I'm not mistaken. The marine olive drab is slightly lighter. You get, as I say, you acetate for your windows. You get more than enough to do your windows just in case you mess up. We have this bag here with some rubber tyres. These look like deuce and a half ones actually. Or is it the Willis Jeep? Nope, these are the, the Willis Jeep wheels. Not bad, nicely molded. Then no um, manufacturer and everything because it, again it's to do with licensing. You got this bag of tyres which is deuce and a half, much bigger. Again, remember this kit's from 1957, so it's a little bit older. Nice, nice tyres I think for its age. They're not bad at all. So we have one bag of deuce and a half parts. I believe this whole tire bag is a, is a whole tire deuce and a half. So we have so we have the internal piece for one of the wheels section. Here's your wheel sections, and then here's your 
can uh, canvas top again it's not bad at all for its age bit of uh, weathering nice bit of paint some pigments and stuff it could look like canvas if you do it work correctly we have uh, there's it turning us the front um, strange that there's no jets of pins even for its age you find today's manufacturers that they'll do this and they'll have bloody jet pins on the inside and you think to yourself how is that even possible when back then they can do it and then today they like put jet pins in awkward places um, you have just one of the side fenders of the truck as I say details pretty good even for its age like I mentioned before 1957 it's a long it's a long time now that is it's like hmm, I ain't doing the maths I'm going to try and calculate that we have um, the hood the uh, back of the cab the side parts for the, the um, railings which should be the wood um, you, if you want to go over these with a little bit of a rougher sander stick so it creates some lines and it might look like a little bit of wood texture we have one of the side fenders again should be this side here's the right the uh, support railings for these go on along here you want to sand these number off don't know why you get that piece i don't know that's for Here's your drive train piece and more spare wheel pieces, pretty good. Here is the lower chassis, molded as one piece. There's a little bit of flash here and there, not too bad. A couple of ejector pins. Here's the lower floor of the uh, truck, back of the truck and the, and the canopy. Or the, the roof here's the inside of the truck of the cab very basic but it's a uh, it's what you expect from back then it's pretty but it's pretty good though still I think in my opinion especially for its age so we move these over here So here are, I think there's different half parts again actually, this is fuel tanks, doors, wheels, you do get some crew figures but they're, to my opinion, they're really really big and out of scale, um, they're a bit like the uh, toy soldiers, the green ones you get when you was a kid, if you look at the soldiers they're, they're really big fat and junky, but uh, yeah, the detail is pretty good for them though for their age, but they're just far too big, so you've got here is your fenders you want to take care of these ejector pins sand them flat you get a jerry can your doors fuel tank windshield steering wheel wheels tow hook here's your other sprue of more wheels the pumpkin housings front of the truck Leaf springs. I say the detail is pretty good for its age. A little bit of a wash and stuff, it'd be fine. More leaf springs. Again, some more soldiers and stuff. But just far too big. And the last bag, which contains the Willis Jeep. Again, you can see it's quite flashy around the, around the sprues. Um, yeah, it's, as I say, it's, it's, it's old, so I'm not going to knock it too much. Um, here's the dash, gear stick, and whatever, the wheels, steering wheel, um, parts of the wheels as well. 
we have the side of the Willis Jeep. Unfortunately, the tools are molded as all as one piece. So careful cleanup and uh, painting, a cocktail stick and a fine brush, and it should be fine. Take that off. Here's the inside of the uh, the Willis Jeep. You get texture for the cushions, which is nice. Detail's not bad. Again, for its age, it's pretty good. The lower chassis, all moulded is one piece. Exhaust, drivetrain, transmission, all, all that is all moulded as one piece. So you could probably build this in probably about half an hour and you'd be painting. It's a nice, quick, simple kit for the weekend. Um, especially if you've been building kits uh, lately or whatever, you might fancy something nice, quick and simple. Not so stressful and long-winded. So it is nice to do something quick and simple occasionally. So there's the um, information of the kit. The monogram. USA. Or oh, Revell USA. This was for back then. Um... It's Revell Germany now, I believe, for the for Europe. We have the dash, the seats. Again, a little bit of sanding on those ejector pins. No problem at all. Extra wheels. That I don't know what that is. That's flash, I believe. And your jerry can comes with two parts. But. As I say, it's an old kit. You're not going to expect a lot from this. Um, I should have some decal somewhere. Here's your decals. I say the decals are pretty uh, more modern. So it's the decals, the kit, box, and the instructions is 2017, but the actual plastic is from 1957. So there you go, folks. There's another kit from Ravel uh, M34, Deuce and a Half, and Willis Jeep. Two kits in one. Under £20, bargain in my opinion. So check it out. Nice simple build for the weekend. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you later.